And through the drifts the snowy cliffs did send a dismal sheen. Nor shapes of men nor beasts we can, the ice was all between. Welcome back, I'm Wall of Ice Cream, this is Magic the Gathering Arena. Thrones of Eldrain standard season. <clears throat> I came out a couple of days ago, tried the pre-release, uh, threw my standard decks in the trash can, they weren't legal anymore. Now we have five new standard decks. We have Gruel Clans, Out for Blood, uh, Azure Skies, Dome Destruction, and Angelic Army. So rock on! Let's try and look at some of these. So you have Tactical Advantage, Chinese Pride Mate, Dawn of Hope, Fencing Ace, Double Strike, Passion Orator. So this actually looks like a deck that we just played. Moment of Heroism, Pacifism, Angel of Vitality, Angelic Reward. That's like a better uh, Sarah's Embrace, if you ask me. Bond of Discipline. Yeah, we just faced this deck. Interesting. So this is what the deck's deck list was. We didn't get this until just now. Um, if you want to see my other video, my last video is Mono Green um, Stompy Budget. Sarah's Guardian. Meteor Golem. 25 planes. 25 is certainly a lot, but I do see a couple of heavy cards here. So, uh, let's try like each one of them out. We'll start with the white one. I like four lands. I don't care if there's just not, not enough meat in the opening hand, but it's fine. These impassioned orators are like soul sisters for one mana more, turn to the bear form. Soul warden bears. Our opponent is going absolutely nuts. Fortunately, it says whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, not any players enters the battlefield, so it's not exactly like a Soul Sisters. Uh, I'm gonna guess our opponent just won't get any more food, and these are gonna die forever. This is what I'm gonna assume. I'll throw an Angel of Vitality out. I'm just going to assume the Angel of Vitality will be able to block the Cauldron Familiar if he attacks, and we're not going to block Vampire the Battle Moon. I think Orator is more important. <coughs> I think this is alright. Okay, our opponent didn't do anything with four mana, so I wonder what's in his hand. Uh, we have Sir's Garland Dragon in turn six. This is a target creature, right? Oh, this is going to target down and down and for sure, right? Right. Of course. So we could take one. We'd go down to 21. Um, our moment of heroism, we gave... Uh, make this a 4-4, four, four, which makes it 25. To make this into a 4-4 four, four flying. We can also just Moment of Heroism, Angel of Vitality, to bring us to 25 and to sack both these orders to kill the Vampire and Chump Block Cavalier of Night. I think with our hands out of fuel and with a way of getting 25 life without it, it be fine. 
We'll try one more time. One more turn. <laughs> Word might be insane. We might be crazy people. We'll get a cat back. Yeah. Alright, even out is down to 27. Okay, Meow is down to 25, but we still have 25 for Angel Vitality. So he could try to do some damage to us, which would be pretty gnarly. Okay, I don't know what that entire thing... What was that entire... Oh, I don't know what anything's going on. That's so I think the point I forgot this could bump. I think we're just gonna we're gonna fake that this is uh, another uh, moment of heroism. Just pretend this is a moment of heroism. Opponent's got two cauldron familiars in the graveyard with no food. And just one card in hand. So apparently just got mana flooded. Eight lands is probably too many for black black weeding. Or not, maybe he could just return a creature card to the rear of the battlefield and just have another Cavalier of Night and then kill a 5 5. My god. Okay, it's down to top decks. I think 25 is too many. I think 24 is right. That's just swamp. This game's over. We can, we can do 4, but it doesn't even matter. We're still at 25 or higher. Yeah, you get a cat in play. Oh no! Okay, cat's dead forever. Let's get one more cat. One more top deck. We should have played this planes. I hardly do that. I think we just block here. Just just for fun. Okay, we don't.
sure. This game. <laughs> okay, we we sh we really shouldn't block because he takes five. So now he's he's forced to use this other eternity on a on a little cat man. Block just to get my life, boost this up to 24 for again. Okay, we got Meteor Golem. Our 1x useless Meteor Golem wins the game. No, it doesn't. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, he didn't, couldn't pay two lives. Oh, uh, well, we're playing this wrong. We're just playing this game wrong. He's been on Death's Edge. Kudos to our opponent. Doesn't even matter at this point. in my head. Alright, let's try one more deck. We have Azure Skies. I'm not a blue mage. Spectral Sailor. Love it. Unsummon. People didn't like Unsummon when it first came out until people learned about um, Man Advantage being separate from Card Advantage. It's, Unsummon is actually better than people give it credit for. Um, Ball of Runes. It's better than Kraken Hatchling because Kraken Hatchling are, won't attack anyway. So nice. Brian Boyd Cutthroat could be like a 4 3. It's just a Hearthstone creature. Negate. Why not? Uh, if you're leaving one of mana open for on summon, you might as well be opening, leaving two mana open for negate. Cloudkin Seer. This might be just like a draft chaff uh, card that actually ends up being unconstructed. There's players who just love drawing a card and um, draws you one card. Whenever a creature in opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, you draw a card. Tapped her creature without flying. That's weird. That's so it's good for against mana dorks. 
that's you know, very narrow. Could you do the flying cast cost one less to cast? I love the, I love this card. This is great. We need words. One last if you have creature flying. Dungeon Geist, perfect. I just love this. It's like a, it's a budget. It's, this is so cheap in Magic the Gathering Online. Air Elemental, classic. Storm Drake, other creatures flying it low. Real Master Sphinx, Connor's Battlefield, return to her creature and opponent controls his own hand. Just an unsummon. Meteor Golem for no reason. Mass Manipulation, 25 islands, because I'm guessing they threw in like one extra island in all of these decks just because the the average card quality is, is low. And so you're you're not actually not begging for specific cards because there's no card that's extremely powerful. Therefore, if you're not begging for any specific card, you could be begging for lands more often, just not getting mana screwed and being able to play the game. Hand. I guess we can at least grind more lands. I think blue as a rule, we probably won't be begging for more walls. One wall is good enough. I think blue as a rule, if blue just gets all the lands it needs, um, it wins games. I just noticed that as a rule. Scorch Spitter is cute. Do we actually kill it here? This isn't a synergistic deck for flashcards. I'm fine with this, even though it's negative, negative entropy or something. This archetype is an all-in deck. Fair enough. We played against this deck before. So blue suffers from being the fifth strongest of the five colors in terms of creatures. Um, I think it's why green is this natural hidden color on the wheel. Also, its its ability is just far removed from green. And we're just meta floated out of this game. Interesting that four lands doesn't make them mana flooded. Walls are not part of magic theory. Um, I mean, you play a wall, your opponent plays a wall. So here, if even if we had an extra turn, I don't think we could win. To be a good sport, since this is an all-in mono red deck, we'll let our opponent play. Alright, but I mean we still need more more wins, so let's carry on. Friends, Wool of Ice Cream has a Facebook page, check it out, and send your fan mail to Gmail or ideas for new content. And see my previous videos at Yudioshlet. Not Wall of Ice Cream yet, get to hundred subscribers and I'll change it to Wall of Ice Cream. 
or you can come play with me on PlayStation. My username's Wool of Ice Cream, and see me on Twitch, Wool of Ice Cream. I might be there on Sundays. Thanks for watching.